When he was nearly 13, my brother Jim got his arm badly broken at the elbow. When it healed and Jim's fears of never being able to play football were assuaged, he was seldom self-conscious about his injury. I did what any loving sister would do and broke his other one. Atticus was mighty proud of me. I always respected Atticus. Atticus, why does everybody got to be so racist? Jim, who's that down yonder? I don't know who that be, but he best be packing heat. Hey. Atticus says we ain't supposed to talk to strangers. Well, I'm Del, and I'm just coming back from church. Is that where you got them nice bracelets? These? Yeah, that's where. Del was a real nice fella. Us three became real good friends. We talked and did everything together. I taught Dill how to swim, and he taught me how to count cards. One day, we was walking past old Boo Radley's place, and we started a talking about him. This is where the Radleys live. Who? Them all crazy up in there. Yeah, sometimes we see Mr. Radley getting his groceries, but he don't talk much. Nice gentleman. He's got his son, Boo, locked up there in the house for 15 years. Some people say he creeps in, in people's windows at night. The food tried to stab his daddy one day. Just smoking. You know Mr. Riley kill us if we go up there. You go up there and touch that there house. Lordy! Well, when you best get back in the kitchen and watch me be a man. But think of what happened to poor little Timmy. Little Timmy was tripping when he went up there. We stayed away from the Radley house after that. Some people came and got Dill. They was mighty nice though and gave him another one of them bracelets. Does anyone know how to read? I do, Miss Caroline. Come up here. Whose name's on this bottle? Uh, 
Filippo Alcatraz. Oh, good. Now, never read again. But why? Who taught you to read anyway? Atticus. Atticus had always taught me stuff. Atticus, can you teach me how to read this book? It'll mean a lot, and I do love ya. Nope. Well, tell him to stop. You can't have me looking bad. Miss Caroline was rather pretty. Stupid slut, I'm out of here. Just one second, Burris. Ah! Atticus, I don't want to go to school anymore. Okay. Well, if you're going to make me. I decided to stay in school to make Atticus happy. It went by quick, and soon we was playing with Dill in the summer again. I think I love you, Dill. I think we should write a note to Boo Radley, too. Here, I'll write it. Your mama is so fat, it took her two hours to watch 60 Minutes. There, that'll get him out. How are you going to get that to him? Leave it to me. Where'd I put my kids? Oh crap, it's Atticus. Scatter! <gasps> Where's your do rag? No! I don't know where my kids are, because I'm normally passed out on the kitchen floor when I find out. I'm a fire in my laser! I saw me a Negro and do what any man who loves this country would do. Where were you kids? You ever been to prison? What? Don't question me, Atticus. I think we should get out of here. Still went home soon after. Something odd happened one day. When we was walking home past the Radley place, we saw something up in that tree. Jim, look up in that tree! Squirrel! No. It's a... What is it? It's a bug. What kind of bug? To kill a mockingbird. The unfortunate novel of a childhood in a sleepy southern town. This sounds stupid. But please, I don't want it. Every day after school, Jim and I found something up in that tree waiting for us. But one day we came by and the tree just wasn't there. I give up. Where'd you put it? I told you, some guy came and cut it down. Who? Has man any questions? 